So this is the giant with 50 plus perks. Technically 96 if you include all the double upgrades. I've been saying 98, I'm pretty sure, in all my previous videos doing 50 plus perks. And I've just been mathematically wrong, so good job me. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> okay, no, I thought that was bloating, but I guess it is like flat on this surface. Oh, we've got perks in the spawn. I would love to get Point Crusher. You know, it's one of the best perks in this mod. Double tap 2.0s over here as well. Oh my god, dude. If only there wasn't like, well, a power switch needed. But anyway, I remember when the Giant and Black Ops 3 first came out and everyone thought that this was actually going to be something, this little room here, when in reality there was literally just a tiny Easter egg to get a, what, a free perk. And then of course, the, uh, the Annihilator, the best specialist ever. Oh wow. Oh, so crazy, dude. Mule kick is over here. Hello. Well, I mean, the good thing about the perk spawning is we get 100 points each time we see one. Like, oh, look, hi, stamina up. Open another door. Hi, PhD, just chilling over here. Oh, the box is actually over here and Jug is here. So yeah, the perks are going to randomly change every single round in like the locations, which is interesting. We got the Haymaker, one of the best guns we could have possibly gotten. I'm excited to do this on the Giant actually, because it's just such a small map. Then again, I'm kind of curious what it would be like if we were playing this on, say, Nactar and Toten, because, you know, it's even smaller. Oh, bye bye, Jug. <laughs> no! tragic. I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely think Elemental Pop is the coolest looking perk machine. I mean, obviously the power's not on right now, but it just, it looks awesome. It really does. All right, well, let's get some headshots and we will go and turn on that power. A lot of perks to go through. Oh, double points right at the end of the round. Dude, I cannot escape it on any map. I swear to God, dude, but at least we didn't accidentally pick it up. Oh, and Jug is in the spawn. Well, if we actually manipulate the points really well, we can get Jug right now. Right, wait for this to very nearly run out and then pick it up. So we maybe need like, I don't know, seven or eight kills with double points to get our hands on Jug this round. And of course, for spawns, come on, stop slowing down. Okay, we got like almost 5k. That's not bad. Okay, another perk over here. Oh my god. It's just, there's so many machine locations. Like, oh, high swarm scotch, which is a really cool perk, actually. It spawns in a bunch of, like, little insects. Here we go. Power is now on. Hi, ethereal razor. What's up? Just getting so many extra points by lying down. But here we go. Got jug now. Easy peasy. Oh, a death machine. Right at the end. Sure, why not? It's nice, though, because obviously all the machines are lit up now, so easy to spot. Oh, we should actually, yeah, get quick revive because, I mean, with all of them changing location, we might get really unlucky and just never have it again. Trying to keep an eye out for if we see point crusher or what's the other one called that gives you bonus points? Oh my god! Of course it's in there where I literally have to open a door to get to it. That's just... That is comedic timing right there. Crusader's Ale is also good. You get extra points for melees. So honestly, I'll get it. So if we get our hands on a Bowie knife, that would be extremely useful. Or, oh, I mean, Ethereal Razor would work too. So I'm guessing we don't deal more melee damage. Oh, we do actually. That was a two hit. Interesting. But yeah, it's giving us double the points for each melee, which is just, it's kind of broken if you think about it. Imagine that on a double points. Oh, hi. Vigor Rush is back here again. Okay, it's a three hit knife now, so we actually could do with waiting. I don't really want to go down stupidly to a, a zombie on round five. That would suck. Oh, I got a carpenter, I think. Oh, wait, no, it's a free put. I got elemental pop. Let's go. Screw it. I'm buying double tap, baby. God, these zombies are slow, man. I'm also very low on ammo right now. All right, let's get a spin of the box, actually. Let's see what we can get, because I have got the razor back on. I see it in the box. If we could get our hands on that, that would be awesome. Of course. Why do I get monkeys when I need ammo? Of course, that's just always the way, bro. But, I mean, we'll melee, get double points. Might be able to... Yeah, we should be able to get our hands on another box spin this round. I don't know why the zombies are spawning so slowly over here. All right, spin number two, a Wonder Wolf maybe? That would be cool, a Dingo. That is like one of the best guns we could possibly get, actually. I wonder if the Crusader's Ale damage, why did the dog just randomly die? I don't know. Hello? Like, are they ignoring me, bro? Bro, they're just exploding. Are we good, man? I guess they're bugging out a bit. What does double buying quick revive do again? Uh, faster move speed after healing, which isn't bad. It's like uh, the modern day quick revive. Am I blocking a hit every time I get hit? Is that something to do with Crusader's Ale? Because that's really cool if it is. Oh, we've only got one dog left. Here we go. 
get Miracle Hands Mocker. If you're unfamiliar with this perk, it's so cool. It basically means that every time we get a power-up of some kind, we get to spin and change the power-up up to three times. And since we can get a perk bottle, we could potentially get a bonus perk just from spinning, really. Oh, like here, we got a nuke, turn it into a max, a death machine, and then an insta-kill. So not bad, because we can... uh Make use of the double melee points. God, I love this cherry fizz camo so much. Oh my god, dude. We're already on 2,303k points. <laughs> like, damn, I guess Crusader's Ale. Maybe it's one of my favorite perks of all time. Because I really like meleeing in zombies. It's one of the bonuses of Cold War, I think. Because, oh, here we go. Max ammo. Free perk. And we got Zombshell. But one of the bonuses of Cold War is you get the really OP melee weapons that you can just use. And they will always be a one-shot, pretty much. Zombshell, by the way, slowing all nearby zombies when you shoot them. Pretty useful. Oh my god, I just realized. Wait, we might actually need to do this. So it's a good thing we have monkeys because one of the perks will always spawn here. No idea what it could be. Uh, what we got over here? Victorious Tortoise. Again, useless. One day I will play a map. I mean, I guess we played Origins, but one day I'll play a map where we can actually use this with a shield. What's over in this corner? Death Perception. This is a cool spot for a perk, actually. Just like in this little corner. <gasps> oh, 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 I see you. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mixed up my perks. I thought it was the cashback cocktail one. I mean, there are 50 perks. You can't blame me for being a little bit uh, confused, I suppose. Let's go and link some of these teleporters. Number one, done. I want to not kill the last zombie, so I'll bring it away from the teleporter, because it does this, like, zappy thing in a second like that, and it will just kill all the zombies, and I swear, I've ended so many rounds doing that. Oh, <gasps> wait. Oh, here's cashback cocktail. Brilliant. Okay, well, <laughs> that was unintentional, but Carpenter, double points, max ammo. Okay, double points, not bad. I'd love to double buy this, but you know, we don't have enough, sadly. Still though, that's awesome. Oh my God, and point crushes in this corner as well. I, I did actually have enough. If I didn't buy all those doors, I could have got both of them maybe this round, but it's fine, you know. We're not speed running. We're just out here to have fun, you know? Let me go, double points. I should have actually kept that. Why did I get rid of it? I could have used it on the round, but whatever. Crusader's Ale. Um, okay, so double buying that would be a bit useless for now. I still need a bloody Bowie knife so I can start getting these melee double points. Oh, see here, this is what I mean. Look at the elemental pop machine. Dude, it's so cool. We should also double buy Jug because it's only 2,000 and we get an extra hit, which is, um, you know, six hit down. It's pretty OP. Prevents me from being an idiot and losing all my perks, of course. Oh, here we go. Insta kill. Free perk. Let's go. That muscle milk, I think. Oh no, that's swarm scotch. Yeah, because it's a bug, duh. So yeah, when we get kills, we get little tiny bugs that fly out and go and kill the zombies. Look at them. It's like damaging them, kind of. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't kill them very fast, but it's more just the fact that we have a pal, I guess, helping us out, which is cool. Hey, what's up, bro? Appreciate you, butterflies. I hope they give us extra points because otherwise we're getting scammed, but... All right, well, we've got 3,000 points. I mean, I guess I'll just go have a browse. Oh, ooh, ooh, is that cashback cocktail? It is. Let's go. So we get this. Every time we make a purchase, we will get, yeah, we've got 400 points back, which is just, it's so good. It really is. I don't know why a lot of these perks aren't in actual Treyarch zombies. I really hope for, uh, well, I mean, apparently the next two games are going to be Treyarch because we've got 2024 zombies is going to be a sequel to Cold War. And then 2025 is a sequel to Black Ops 2, apparently, according to leaks. So I'm extremely excited for that. But it basically means they have no excuse to not go all out and just add a bunch of random perks and just like fun things, you know? There is no reason why you can't just add perks, even if they're mediocre, because, oh, shocker, you can just not buy them. Wow, it's crazy how that works. Like, bro, no one cares that Deadshot in all the old games is pretty shit because you just don't buy it. It's like, it's a choice. You don't have to buy it. It's just the fact that it's there as an option. It adds a bit more replay value. All right, scan for perks. Perks. Dying Wish is very good, don't get me wrong. Oh, cashback. I've already got it. <laughs> what am I on about? It's funny though, it's always the thin perks that are down there. Like, first it was Death Perception, now it's PhD Slider. I wonder if they can even fit the thick perks down there. What's this? Stone Cold Stronghold is all right if we're camping on the catwalk, but I did see Ethereal Razor. Increased melee damage. Uh, 2000, it greatly increases it further, but look, we got a one hit melee now, which is just mad. I accidentally pick that up. I could have saved it or swapped it or something. So let's actually buy it again because even more one shots. Boom. And we got so much money back as well. Oh, I love this. 
It's just the fact that we can like combo all the perks together to make efficiency, I guess. So we've got double melee points. We've got double melee damage. Now probably like triple melee damage. And if you're wondering what a double buy is, you can see it on the perks. You have like a little yellow border around them. That basically signifies that we have the upgrade of the perk. So otherwise it would be a bit confusing if it was like another perk icon. What's up, dogs? I can 100% one-shot you. Yeah, I am not even worried. Like, <laughs> World of War dogs, terrifying. Black Ops 1 dogs, kind of scary. BO2 didn't have dogs unless you turned them on, but those were kind of like either same as Black Ops 1. But BO3 dogs are already easy. Now they're just piss. You know, I might do a maniac thing. I might actually get rid of my max ammo. I know, crazy, right? But we got free perk. So, tombstone. <laughs> oh, rest in pieces. It wasn't worth it. Oh, well, it's fine. ICU is very good. I'm going to get it because faster health regen, like, and when you're close to death, it is, it is very useful. Even though I would like to save up for other perks that could be more useful. It'd be nice if there was a perk that just gave you a riot shield because then stuff like Victoria's Tortoise wouldn't be as useless. What I might do, though, is I might get Widow's Wine before I get the Bowie Knife because for whatever reason, when we get the Widow's Wine, it will negate our knife. So it no longer one hits because it replaces it with the stupid Widow's Knife. And then that's just like, it doesn't have any extra damage for whatever reason. So I'm hoping that will fix it. Look at the points we're getting. This is insane. 6k, 7k, and we got a death machine. Okay, well... I mean, I don't even want it because I could just get more by meleeing. Someone suggested to do a rainbow perk challenge with this mod. I mean, are you serious? <laughs> that would be insanely difficult, but let's just say it's not completely off the table, but that would be ridiculous. All right, so let's double by jug because now we have an extra hit, which is very useful. Oh, never mind. We have got the fatter perks. Cashback cocktail that we've already got. Double tap will double buy it because we get even more extra damage, which, you know, how can you complain at that? Ooh, point crusher. Let's go. The green perk. But yeah, this basically just gives us even more points when we get kills. Why is that zombie running away from it? What? What was that? Bro just, like, disappeared. All right, well, I'm going to get Vigo Rush, but I'm going to kill the zombie first. But boom, we got, like, 300 points for that. And a free perk as well. Hell yeah. Blaze Phase, not, like, the best in the world, but free is free. How, like, you know, can't exactly be... Beggars can't be choosers, I think is the phrase. Oh, is this Speed Cola? I would actually like to get Speed Cola next. That would be a good choice, considering we have, you know, the big old chonky dingo. Like, don't get me wrong, the reload's very fast, but it would just be a nice bonus. Knife, knife, knife. Gotta try- I'm trying to you melee and then walk back slightly every time you do it, because yeah, drops, you don't accidentally pick them up, because that would suck, but... <laughs> Double points. Well, we're about to get very, very rich very quickly. Like, we're Bitcoin mining, let's go. Bitcoin mining in 2013. Like, look, we got almost 10,000 points, so... What to spend all of this on? Make sure I don't pick up a nuke accidentally or so. I just picked something up. Okay, it was just a carpenter. I think we're fine. But boom, speed cola. Double buying, it gives us extra damage after we reload, which is very nice. Uh, mule kick is kind of mid. I'll get PhD slider, you know, why not? I mean, longer slide, slide damage increased, sure. Double buy vigor rush. Oh, I just <laughs> the purple PhD on the floor. Let's go. Wee! I'm gonna get changed shoes because yeah, if we get headshots, it basically gives us a little special effect, which is nice. Bull eyes blast. Oh yeah, double jump. I wanted to do this one because I haven't, I haven't used it in like any map. But look, we can literally like exo zombies, bro. For whatever reason, I've just, I've had this perk every game, and just, it's not something you instinctively do in playing zombies. You don't normally just double jump like that. But I reckon we could get into some glitch spots. And it will activate PhD, it seems, from certain heights. So if I wait for these zombies to come over, I'm, I'm curious. Can I just absolutely nuke them? Let's see. Whee! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like that. Speaking of PhD, it's just right here. And another free perk. Time slip. Not bad at all. What is, what is this gun effect? Oh, change choose. That's so cool. Headshot equals weird looking explosion thing. Oh my. Bro. How many hits did I just take? I don't know. I was too busy staring at the uh, the effects. Reload. Hello, nuke. Turn this into an insta-kill. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, Miracle Hands mock -up. We can now make sure that we don't get like the crappier perks or the crappier power-ups when we change it into the third one, I believe. But oh, right, we've got 7k. What do we want to get? Stamina up. That is literally the next perk I wanted to... Hello? It's not letting me buy it. 
I've been scammed. All right, well, never mind then. Multi-kills grant bonus points. Oh, so we should have got Tac Tequila a long time ago then. That's that's good. All right, open this door. Get the Bowie knife. Finally, I didn't get Widows first. Oh, it's fine. You know, practice what you preach like thing, but I didn't say it or whatever. It's just a brain issue, really. All right, last teleporter though. All right, here we go. And now it's completely linked. So we've got Pack-A-Punch open. But what I'm going to do is we have monkey bombs. We can actually do the little Easter egg. First of all, though, I'm going to get whatever this is and turn it into a free perk. I don't know what I got. I think I upgraded change choose or something. Oh no, I got the second PhD slider. Oh, brilliant. Uh, death perception's not bad. Downer's delight. Nah, that doesn't matter. Let's just go do the uh, the little Easter eggy thing. Oh, elemental pop. How much is it? 2,000. Oh, we've already got it. So we can double upgrade it. That is cool. So we throw a monkey in. Wait, am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. I'm supposed to... Oh no, I think that counted. It did the scream. You have to throw it in and teleport. And yeah, we've done one out of three. And we're going to get a power up pretty much every other time for this. So wait, we can get so many free perks. We've got like Daminade. Just uh, throw this in and then immediately teleport. I don't have points. No. Oh, why did I do this to myself? I'm so stupid. I'm too used to like the modern day CODs where teleporting only costs 500. Ah, uh, uh, whatever, it's fine. Still can't buy stamina up. I wonder if it's because we've not unlocked that extra like thing. The Easter egg we're literally doing right now. Oh, and I think one of our perks gives us an extra slot for uh, monkey bombs, which is massive because now I can actually afford. Well, we don't have to get a max ammo to do the Easter egg, which is nice. All right, I'm going to buy Fighter's Fizz just because it's too cool not to. I want to literally melee every single one of these zombies. So... Start off with you. Don't you dare give me a nuke. I know one of them's totally going to do it. We've got Death Machine. Oh, God, almost got sandwiched. Thank you for this goddamn perk. I just changed it in time. Got Bull Eyes Blast. Let's go. Oh, Zappy. I didn't realize we had some kind of dead wire on the Bowie knife. All right, there we go. One zombie left. We'll quickly double by. Oh, we've already got PhD slider. Nice. Packer box would be cool, actually, because it means that we can get a packer punched gun from the box. Double by it again so we can get a higher chance. And that only cost us like 1,500. God, that perk is so good, dude. But here we go. Second one is done. We've got a fire sale. I mean, that would actually be quite good. So we have a high chance, whatever we get, we could pack a punch it. We got a locust, and it is pack a punched, of course. The sniper that I just don't particularly want. The wonder Waff, though, okay. And is it pack? It's not. But to be fair, I actually like the um the unpacked wonder waff. It looks cool. The locust again. All right. Well, I guess we'll, we'll settle for the waff. I'm I can't complain. I'm actually I'm gonna pack a punch it because we should get enough money back. That yeah, we just have enough. I thought so. Now we can open up this last perk, which means hopefully we can actually get stamina up now. All right. Whoa, I did. What did I just do? I just double jumped while throwing a monkey like basketball. <laughs> that was silly. But here we go. Uh, I'm going to quickly... Oh, we didn't even get a drop. Lol. Just wasting my time. But here we go. Do this. Zappy zap. The head will open up that perk. And it looks like we've got a cashback cocktail hidden over here. But now it's open, which is cool. Knife you. Oh, point crusher over there. Wow. Cashback and point crusher in the same location, pretty much. All right. We got doggos. Pretty easy round. Where you at? Hello. Double points for each kill. Oh, we should be able to afford the double buy for Fighter's Fizz. So, oh, never mind. It's 4k. Damn it. That would have been nice because the double buy is actually... Oh, we got a free... Per I don't know what that is, but... The double buy basically means if we go down and we get a kill, we will instantly get all of our perks back, but we will lose Fighter's Fizz. So it's just... It's so OP because when you have this many perks, it's just important to make sure you keep hold of them. Nuka Cola is also really good. So when we go down, we get a nuke that just goes off. So no matter what, if you're playing co-op especially, it is really, really helpful. Oh god, we got a turned. Oh, he's not going to give us points though, damn it. Typical, oh well. I'll double buy quick revive, get that one finished. Oh, we have a drop over there. I think it's an insta-kill. Oh, we have the perk that um, when we're running, it'll like make electric shit happen on the floor. Double points, don't mind if I do. So yeah, now we're just absolutely rich from these kills. It literally, every zombie I run past it gets electrified. It's so good. Like, it doesn't even matter if it doesn't kill them because that's just too useful. So yeah, now we have 10k points. Not bad at all. Oh, we got two drops as well. Can we get a double... Oh, I was going to say we'd get a double free perk, but... A death machine and a free perk is just as good. Look at this beautiful Wonder Wolf, man. Oh, it just looks so... It looks so good. 
Death perception, sure, I'll get death perception. Because I think the second buy extends the effect range, so it's not bad. But like literally, seeing through walls, it's quite, it's pretty underrated. Double buy tombstone, because just for the collection, I suppose. Double buy ice blast, perk range is doubled, okay. Oh, is there a perk slot down here? Actually, it'd be the perfect place for one. There's not, interesting. I'm surprised there isn't one on the catwalk either. I really like this change choose effect. Like, look at this. The headshot. Boom. They're like the blue, like, explosion thing. It just looks cool, bro. Anyway, Bernarda Collada. Oh, good heavens. There's a lot of zombies. Oh, my. They, that pathing path really screwed the zombies over then. So if I stand in this corner. Oh, no. I, they don't have to. I thought they had to go around. That would have been OP. Red Hex Camo. Thank you. Crusader's Ale. Buy it again. Knife. A knife. And a knife. And now we've got one zombie left. All right, I'm literally just going to go and collect as many perks as we possibly can. We're going to kill it with bloody... <gasps> okay, good. I thought Banana Colada was going to finish him off. But this is the perk. Effect stuns for longer. Very nice. Nuka Cola. We'll get that. Double buy it. Double buy swarm scotch. Zombies that lived the swarm are more likely to spawn a swarm. Oh my god. So we could just get permanent swarms, apparently. Uh, we don't have this one. Magnet Margarita. I don't know what it does. Uh, oh yeah, all the power-ups will like go towards me, which is kind of cool. Time slip again. <laughs> so many perks, bro. Oh, double points. I'll actually keep that. Kind of exactly what we need. Is this double... Is this the mocker? Oh, we've already got that. Mule kick. Sure, I'll get you. Get it again. I, I, I keep meaning to read what the second mule kick does. I don't know, but I'm assuming it's something like it drops extra ammo. Speaking of which, turn that into a max and we got a max. Nice. Nitrogen cooled. Oh, I'll get that before it goes quickly. I'm a perk hoarder, bro. God, Nikolai's poor liver. I mean, I know he drinks. Also, I love how nitrogen cooled just switched places there. But his poor liver must be really struggling right now. All zombies are walking. What is this? This is cool. Oh, we got the perk where all zombies that are near me just, like, start walking. That is one of the most overpowered perks ever, because it's literally, like, undead man walking. So for Easter eggs, it would be pretty broken, I imagine. Downer's Delight. I mean, why not? Trip p p pearls the bleed out time. Sure. We're on the last row of perks now. If We have to fully do all four lines of perks. And I guess since the stamina up machine is bugging out, we'll have to try and get it from random perk drops, which, you know, it's doable. I just picked that up. Oh, never mind. It was a free perk. We've got Winter's Whale, which is apparently there's a skipped perk slot. Why is there just a gap? Knife you, knife you. I keep forgetting the bloody double jump again, but we. It's so cool. Well, I don't think we have this one. Blood bullets. Ammo regenerates, which is just... It's pretty useful. I love just sliding around and seeing explosions and yellow smudge on the floor. Like, bro. <laughs> can't see what I'm doing. Um, We'll double buy ICU. It's only a thousand to double buy it. That's actually really good, considering it's one of the best perks in the game. Checking what we don't have. We don't have Wit Vulture Raid, but I don't think we can get it on a dog round. Actually, you know, we might be able to with the double the double uh, melees. Oh, yeah, no, I think we definitely can. Yeah, literally one more kill. Boom. Now we'll get extra points from the zombie drops, which is cool. Oh, here's stamina. Can we actually buy it? Okay, here we go. So it's either fixed the uh, the machine or it was just bugged in certain locations, maybe. Oh, and also I just realized because we have Vulture Ray, we can see where all the perks are now, which is so useful. And it makes the zombies have these cool eyes. Ah, our Bowie Knife is no longer a one here, even with Ethereal Razor, which is interesting. So I guess we're now on to killing. I haven't even used this Wonder Waff yet. Um, can we get a free put? No, we've got a Carpenter. I'm frame lagging right now. What's happening? Doesn't matter though. We've got Wonder Waff time. It's nice as well because the Wonder Waff doesn't normally give that many points. So getting the extra, like the extra 30 or whatever it is from Point Crusher, definitely a little bit of a help. It's just, it's so efficient to use. Do we actually get the bonus ammo from the drops? No, we don't. Why does Vulture Aid not do that? Getting scammed, man. If I Daminate a second time, I suppose. Every zombie is just walking. The, the challenge is gone, pretty much, from getting that one perk. Double by Vulture Aid, because apparently it gives us double rewards, which I don't understand how that works or what that means, but that's cool. If it means that power-ups will literally give me, like, two double points, then that's just insane i spy dying wish we actually do have that so double buy that stone cold i'll get just for the collection hello doggos how's it going go away bro why is this zombie walking away 
It's not, the zombies have been very weird this game, I'm not gonna lie. Double buy, muscle milk, the white perk. What we got over here? Blaze phase times two? Ooh, a max. Let's see, free perk. I should have actually gotten the max, but we got Bandolier Bandit. Don't have that yet. I mean, we are getting a lot of ammo back, actually. I don't know if it's just from not shooting. It's, it's one of the perks, but it's it's cool. So if I stow the Wonder Wolf, yeah, like my Dingo's getting more ammo. And I, I don't even remember the last time I used that. Do we have double buy PhD? Yeah, we do. I'm trying to figure out what perks we're missing. That's double Winter's Whale. Not open this door yet. Um, We got that one. Oh, double buy this PhD slider because oh, why not? Just have two or three even. I think we've got PhD slider times two and then a PhD flopper or something. But I think that's all the perk machines on the map. So what do we miss? We've got five or no, six more perks to get. I mean, there may just not be enough slots. So we have to wait for the right rotation. Like boom, bandolier bandit times two. Let's check on our wonder what. Oh no, we're actually not getting ammo for that being stowed, which is a shame. Maybe it's when we reload, we just get a chance to get it back. Oh, that perk we literally just bought has a chance to regain ammo, which is nice. Yeah, I just shot one. Didn't even have to reload. That is, that is pretty nice. Why did the Bro, the zombies up here, they were just walking away. They don't like me, man. The nice thing as well is we can actually see when the zombies are about to spawn around the corner and like predict shot with the Wonder Wolf. Death perception, man. Underrated. Oh, stamina up. Let's go. That's one of the perks we were missing. And it's going to help us get around the goddamn map because we know we need that. Too slow, bro. Too slow. God, there's so many... So much electrocution with the Wonder Wolf plus this zappy perk and holy moly. Five perks to go. Now we've reached the point of me speed running the map to try and uh, try and have a look, see what we're missing. I love that we can fire while sprinting as well. So I can zap with the Wonder Wolf and just run around. Wee! I wonder if this electric running perk actually kills the dogs as well. Where are they at? Hello? No, it doesn't. It just it, it zaps them, but I don't think it kills them. Oh, here we go. Victoria's Tortoise, of course. The one I was deeming useless. I forgot about till like pretty much the last. Double jump. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, oh no. The max ammo. I can't reach it. Or the perk even. We. Oh, I got Samantha laugh. Huh? Does that mean I can't get any more perks? All right, I'm going to scan the map because there should be 96 total, including the double buys. There has been on Origins and on Town. So unless certain perks are glitched on this map and they literally like either don't spawn or they cause the map to break, then we must have all of them. All right, so I've literally checked around everywhere on the map. I'm not kidding. Every single nook and cranny of this map, and there is nothing. There is no extra perk that we're missing. I mean, I haven't seen Blood Wolf Bite in any of these, which is strange. Because, you know, we're supposed to get Blood Wolf Bite. I think we had it on Origins, but maybe with all the perks, it just bugs out. It's definitely a possibility. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. I just realized we don't actually have Fighters Fizz and Zomshell double ball but it's fine we've got we got most of the perks you know with, with it could be a visual glitch anyway because i swear i did check out this video on screen youtube says you might like it and yeah i will see you all in the next video